Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Alexander Friedman. Maybe you already know I am the founder and CEO of company VAPI. Uh, VAPI is a, a full supply chain outsource company for you in the European Union. We are an IT company that has more than 14 warehouses all over the Europe and we help you to do the fulfillment. Fulfillment, the same, even somewhere a little bit better than does the FBA, Amazon FBA. So if you're fed up with Amazon FBA, you can always switch to our system and build your uh, trading e-com empire together with us. And also I'm the person who has the VAPI community and every week on Thursday, I invite wonderful people, experts in e-com business, and today with us is Nikolai Varanov. Hi, Nikolai. Yes, hello. Hello. How, how, how do you hear me? Everything is okay? Yes, connection is perfect. Wonderful. Nikolai is a, a CEO. He is operational and strategic expert in global e-commerce since 2014. And he was CEO and CEO in a big e-com company. And today we're going to discuss why 2020, it is a golden time for offline brands to go online globally. And this will be a personal, practical experience, not some theories from the books. You will hear uh, the story, the story from the person who did this uh, shift from offline to online. So, Nikolai, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, yeah, sure. So, basically, I'm, uh, uh, which is not very, st uh, no, which is not very usual for e-commerce and for retail. I'm not from marketing or business or entrepreneurial, uh, any kind of stuff. So I, I'm from, I, I have a little bit science background. So I have a master's degree in physics. Uh, I uh, obtained it recently in 2014. And uh, just after the graduation, I joined. So I moved uh, from my home country. I'm from Russia. Uh, I moved uh, mm -hmm. from my, my home country to Europe uh, because I was uh, uh, offered to join an e-commerce startup. And it was uh, rather interesting for me, uh, both because I uh, always uh, thought that uh, like no borders, uh, no borders should be presented in the world. And uh, it's like every place is home yeah. and like you should, uh, you should always do things uh, globally. So it, it, it was very interesting for me. And um, uh, this, this, uh, this one company, uh, yeah. You, you finished the graduation and yeah. you studied in Russia and then you, you moved to Estonia. Yes, to a fresh startup. So it was my first uh, full-time job. And uh, uh, the startup also mm -hmm. was a fresh fresh one. So they launched 2013 and I uh, joined one year after, like 2014. So they had some revenue. Uh, it was not uh, zero. Uh, but uh, they w were not built. So it was like uh, one, two people and the owners who did uh, founded this uh, uh, a, a new, new direction of the business. And uh, so basically the aim of the company, the aim of startup was uh, try to, um, to go uh, online. So it was uh, a big uh, business uh, which mm -hmm. sold uh, brick and mortar uh, like B2B, so a whole wholesale. And uh, they did uh, rather huge volumes. Uh, also, they did manufacturing, etc. So it's uh, rather, rather, uh, rather powerful business. Uh, but uh, so I don't before, know. Before 2014, yeah, before 2014, this was a traditional trading company. With, yes. Uh, some, they produced some, the wholesaler distribution, uh, offline shops. And then when you started it, started the journey to online. Cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it was the aim and uh, it was very long and hard journey. 
and luckily uh, I was lucky to join it uh, almost at the start. Uh, yes, and uh, so they, they did launch uh, on Amazon and what is so unique and why, why I'm here, why I'm, I would like to tell you, to tell all you about my experience is because it's uh, not only was uh, an experience to going from offline to online, but also it was a truly global one. So uh, the, uh, the company launched uh, selling online on Amazon, uh, but they didn't start from one specific country. They launched on all major marketplaces. It was like seven, uh, UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Canada, and USA. And what is more interesting, it was equally, so uh, company sold equally uh, on, this, on all marketplaces, uh, grow, grow, grew equally. And currently a uh, company does on Amazon uh, like uh, 7 million uh, USD per year. So it's a uh, high seven figure company towards Amazon. And uh, we can say that we do at least 1 million USD per each marketplace. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so it's like a separate business uh, can, can be done. This is the revenue. This is the revenue per year, right? Yes, yes, from from Amazon channel. But uh, also, what is also unique okay. is that uh, company uh, presented not only on Amazon. So uh, I asked uh, asked uh, uh, my colleague to count uh, before the webinar the oral. Uh, Marketplaces uh, companies presented, and it is 40, basically. So it's a huge oh. number. Yeah. So we oh. also started this journey, but a little bit later. So I guess we started non Amazon marketplaces 2016. Uh, yeah. But mm -hmm. the overall experience is that uh, both uh, both was started uh, when uh, it was zero infrastructure and zero knowledges on the web uh, and like any any kind of places uh, on 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 e-commerce. Uh, so, what is also unique is that everything was built in-house from scratch, uh, or within uh, the team. So, just uh, uh, innovate and life hacks and uh, know-hows, and also finding yeah. partners. But not just finding, also teaching. So, we really didn't have any partner who already know how to work. Uh, with Amazon or any other e-commerce channel. So we mm -hmm. build operations also on their warehouses. And my role there was, uh, so I guess uh, due to education, I was, uh, so I'm a technical guy, like analytical, et cetera. And uh, from the start, I was doing yeah. some kind of uh, business automation and also supply chain set up uh, globally. So it was also zero supply chain. And I participated. Uh, yeah. So I have no education in supply chain, but uh, still, uh, it was uh, like uh, it was just enough to put all your time, like 16, 18 per hours per day. I think I think if you have degree, if you have a degree in physics, it yeah. was uh, possible for for you to learn yeah. how to manage the supply chain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so it is the point. You just can work with information and use it correctly. <clears throat> and the same. So. I started uh, from uh, automation and supply chain, uh, but I'm a very curious guy and I uh, ended up uh, that I participated in almost every process and eventually uh, owners made me CEO of the company. Mm -hmm. So, but, but I think mostly I, I'm, I was responsible for operations, not for just like strategic because I'm, I, I, was, I was too young back then to make some strategic stuff. Uh, but I was very good at operations. Uh, so I can say that I get all possible insights into every drop uh, of, of e-commerce, like uh, marketing, uh, brand manufacturing, uh, CEO optimization, advertisement, taxes, accounting, logistics. This is, this is very, very, um, uh, very interesting and uh, very uh, information that is very needed for every person who is listening to us and who is going to build their own uh, trading company it is like practice uh, from the not from the books but from the inside of the company what happened yeah. 
yeah so the, for my first my first tricky question will be what would you do different if you would go back in 2014 mm, uh, <laughs> what now so now when you're experienced uh, six years after yeah and now you remember how, how did you start uh, doing the business back then what would you do differently today the most uh, the biggest mistake we did and i will speak about it today as well is the profit calculation so uh, we had a story that uh, uh, so when you when you do e-commerce uh, you read all this uh, so you hear from people and you're trying to understand that you need to grow in revenue and uh, you hear about these like numbers so like six figures is okay seven figures is like you are very cool <laughs> and eight figures yeah. you are like a god level, level on the god level and uh, we dreamed about eight figures and 2017 we really reached uh, eight figures on amazon uh, but uh, in mm -hmm. the end of 2017 we understand that we uh, are selling in minus so while we had uh, so huge revenues uh, we had operational uh, losses uh, it is because we didn't calculate yeah. profit correctly because as a wholesale company we just didn't understand how to do it all in online because online is just a different place so i think it is the biggest mm -hmm. uh, mistake we did so you would you would start from calculating correctly calculating profits and economy yeah. it would uh, i guess it would uh, save us two free years and so it's like uh we we two free years your earlier would be uh very profitable so when you so when you start business uh, at first you invest yeah. then you go to break even and then you start making profits and develop yourself and this point of break even was uh, two three years earlier if we did calculate it profit correctly wow Okay, well, let's let's continue to your yeah. presentation. Uh, I know that you prepared it. It will be without the slides. I but... can s show slides as well, but I, it would be just the tips, so it is uh, not not much if slides. You, yeah. If if you want, if you want, please. Of, of course, uh, the only thing that I ask when you show the yeah. slides, uh, share the screen, and then. Of sharing the screen, screen so the guests would see our faces. Yeah, Otherwise, sure. we continue talking and there is the screen yeah. in all the time. Okay, okay. great. Agreed. Oh, Let's go. So, uh, the first uh, thing I would like to tell uh, basically, so I, I, I hope that uh, this video or is all already listened or will uh, in the end uh, will be viewed uh, by people on YouTube, I guess. Uh, who 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 will be like a step uh, backwards uh, because it's always like you have someone which is step forward but you always have someone who step backwards and for those yeah. people the first thing I would like to tell is about like the whole um, world of like Amazon and uh, really why it is so so uh, so big coincidence that uh, in COVID is in these hard times you really uh, have a golden time to, to go uh, online and basically it was not because of covid it just happened that uh, it's a cross uh, a cross section that uh, it is easy to go online and covid happened and pushes uh, people to go online uh, so basically uh, the first thing is that uh, uh, e-commerce is a different to wholesale and the main difference is uh, uh, operational complexity and uh, uh, economics, so mar marginality, mar margin. Uh, basically, in e-commerce, you have low margins, lower margins than in wholesale, because uh, you pay for this uh, service. So uh, the customer gets uh, this uh, delivery, nice uh, website, which is built by the marketplace, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of uh, services and packages uh, and uh, you pay, so the seller pays for it. And mm -hmm. seller cannot uh, compensate all the costs in price, so it's not limitless. Uh, mm -hmm. Eventually, uh, your, your price cannot be higher than some threshold. Uh, and so it is low marginal, uh, lower marginal than wholesale. But uh, 
the volume wise it is lower so you cannot do if you sell locally let us say you sell in germany uh, wholesale and then you go online uh, you will be surprised that you cannot do the same volumes online uh, than you do offline just because online is younger market and it is growing a lot year to year very rapidly but still it is uh, a little uh, 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 less percentage than in, in global retail than, than traditional wholesale uh, so to gain this volume you, know, you should uh, do you know the exact percentages uh, like, to be it's... true, no. I, I was very obsessed with, with these percentages uh, back then, but now I, I, I don't I don't see. I know that uh, it's still it's still uh, retail still is uh, is a big. Uh, uh, is uh, like eighty percent retail offline retail is 80, 50, anything. Don't know. Like so we need to check that basically. So I I think uh, in YouTube the video will be some links. I will discuss it with you. We hope yeah. I will attach and I will also double check this one and information. And uh, basically, uh, the only okay. possible way to uh, the only possible way to uh, make the volumes which for brand are reasonable is to go globally, and at the same time to full uh, to fulfill all local market bases. Uh, and basically, this mm -hmm. means operational complexity. Uh, but uh, combining what I said before, that uh, you don't have margin uh, for such operational complexity, because operational complexity means people usually, and also offices, etc. Yes, uh, and you don't have it. So uh, this is a dead end. Yes, and uh, so what, people... what is the margin? What must be the aim of the? For example, the new company want to go online. You're saying be careful with the profits. Yeah. The margin is low. So what what is the percentage of the margin from your so experience? So if, if you would take like the pure margin, like EBITDA or something like this, I think uh, the golden middle is uh, somewhat like five seven percent. It means that business is well optimized. I think the wow. So the top uh, the top level is like 10 percent and the average person so not business i mean the individual entrepreneurs who sell they can do like two percent so if they get lucky and they sell some very high products which mm -hmm. is unique etc they put a lot of uh, uh, pr pr like extra extra uh, power in pricing have like extra power in pricing mm -hmm. and uh, their margin can be much higher so I think like five cent percent is uh, if your business is well optimized, it, it, it is uh, it is enough margin. Uh, but uh, the point is that it, it's global and uh, it's scalable. So if if you if you understand the model, uh, you can adjust your business and change uh, change it and scale it. It is it is very interesting stuff because it's um, it can be automated and uh, can be like. Uh, few efforts can be input in, in, in this business uh, year, years from now uh, after you start. Uh, so, and the point is that uh, to do all this stuff, uh, back then people didn't have resources because of low margin and at the same time, like zero knowledge. So first of all, the uh, lows was, uh, lows, so operation, operational wise, lows was uncertain. You would don't don't understand uh, how authorities regulate these uh, global e-commerce uh, trades. For example, if you would like to pay taxes in 2013, uh, you will go to Ernst & Young or PVC and uh, get a very huge long bill, uh, but uh, have no knowledge. So with still no, with will, no answer. Yeah, you will you will you will figure out yourself next uh, how to pay taxes. Then 2016, uh, I observed that uh, there, there are some companies provide you these uh, taxation services, but still uh, mm -hmm. you need uh, to read a lot to understand if they are doing right or wrong. And then when they did it, you have to pray God uh, that <laughs> and keep your fingers crossed that uh, they are doing everything right and you have no uh, tax uh, so what um, what will in this situation what will you suggest for your people how do they handle this question with taxes today yeah so it is uh i think to to nowadays i will i will i will open the slide 
uh, it will be some words about uh, taxes. Uh, so main, main okay. problems people have uh, like taxes, logistics, uh, okay. and uh, yeah. So and and basically all this uh, uh, stuff was uh, uh, on the, uh, like uh, no service providers back then. The same is for logistics. So I had uh, uh, an experience that uh, I build operations on Canadian warehouse, and I did it via fax. <laughs> Can you imagine that? So via via fax. Or? Yeah. So so it was a strange situation. I think it was 2015, and yeah. I sent them an email with PDF, and they told me, "We don't know PDF." <laughs> So wow. please, please do it in fax. And I uh, technically printed out all my instructions and sent them by fax. And then where I, did you where did you find fax? <laughs> luckily, it was in my office. I don't know where it was from, but <laughs> but it was in the office. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's not anymore. So if I face the same situation today, I was uh, uh, I was very confused. I will be very confused. Yeah, so I mean okay. that uh, you you spend all your time back then. Uh, or you have to be uh, yourself a logistics uh, director, or manager, and understand all this. So you taught warehouses how to build this, and the mm -hmm. same is with people. Uh, the problem is that uh, it was zero information, and uh, people can't be taught back then. So it was no profession as let us say uh, advertisement manager on Amazon or SEO optimization manager on Amazon or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And what you did, you tried to combine tiny pieces of information you can find, and then you teach your people yourself. And also, so you don't find these people, uh, you cannot find people with enough qualification. You just take people which you seem to, uh, which seems to seem to be available to be taught, and then you taught them. Uh, but it's not, not always worked. Uh, mm -hmm. And nowadays, uh, so etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, a lot of stuff. Yes, so operational complexity. And yeah. nowadays, luckily, what I see because I'm long in industry is that uh, 2019, 2020 is a game, game changer. Uh, first of all, about uh, all this series stuff uh, because like partners you can find on, on uh, in the world like global partners. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people started like 2015. Uh, mm -hmm. on Amazon, uh, a service agency as well, uh, and they gained experience uh, to 2019, 2020, and they really uh, uh, pushed themselves, uh, pushes themselves today because it is a big uh, 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 struggle between them. So because it's a lot of them, they struggle for the customer and they really uh, mm -hmm. Make all this uh, content you will find on their websites, uh, which describes you how to do and what to do and why to do, and then you contact them, and uh, it's very easily done. So it's it's a lot of them nowadays. Uh, so it's much more expertise today than it was uh, six years ago. Yeah. So they gain the expertise, and you can trust them like 100%, and uh, just focus. Okay, for example, for example, tech and accounting, where do you find? Oh, so let do me show you. Answer? Yeah, yeah, let me show you. You must see my presentations, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is my tips. So it's not an advertisement, it's just my personal experience, uh, which I'm used to, to, to have. So mm -hmm. this taxation company is avalara.com. It is uh, a global taxation company. So it is both a software and both a consultancy. Uh, they yeah. know uh, all this global taxation stuff. Uh, they take your case like end to end and uh, you do not need to do anything, just pay money. I will not lie, I, I didn't find prices on their, uh, on their websites, but as far as I can remember, uh, like pricing is not very expensive, expensive, several hundred uh, euros you pay for each like country VAT registration process. And after that, uh, they declare like make your uh, monthly reporting to local authorities for you. It's like 150 euros, I guess, for, uh, for country. So for example, uh, average person who sells on Amazon globally, like in Europe, for example, uh, has to pay like, eight, nine countries, VATs. 
and it will cost uh, so, so nine uh, multiplied by 1.5 hundred euros so it's a little bit more than 1000 euro so something like yeah. this uh, then uh, to cut uh, to cut uh, to, to make it shorter so I also advise uh, so I had a couple of projects when people asked me to launch uh, on Amazon uh, but so I have an expertise to uh, to do the business, but launching the business is absolutely another story. For example, make an account, uh, etc. It is it is hard also to make this marketing research. How how so, long does it take nowadays to make an Amazon account? It really depends, but I think like one month. Uh, but but it's it can be like from one week to four months. Uh, but I guess like one, one month is 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 the is the average because uh, is it is it the truth that uh, uh, in England to launch the Amazon you have to have VAT number and in all only in England in all the other countries you can open an account without having the VAT number. Like yes, in- sure, sure. But uh, so it's uh, it, it's operational as well. So it is for example program called Pan U. Uh, Amazon yeah. make a big move like two, three years ago. Uh, it means that all your warehouses uh, in Europe are connected among them and among yeah. each other. Uh, and uh, Amazon moves uh, goods uh, automatically. You do not uh, make it. Amazon makes it. So to have this program, you need to obtain all the VADs uh, currently. Uh, mm-hmm. and, yeah. So, 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 so it's like this. So if you sell locally. So sign up for PanU, you have to have VAT in all the countries. Yeah, technically like seven because like marketplace is five. Uh, it is like UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain. But Germany also stores, it's in Poland and like Slo- Slo- Slovenia, something like this. So uh-huh. Slovakia maybe. Uh, and that's why for to store these goods, uh, you need to obtain these VA- VADs. Uh, okay. Yes. So for launching, I would recommend uh, this one guy. Uh, uh, his name is Alex. Alex, hello. He doesn't know that. Yeah, his he doesn't know that uh, I'm uh, I posted his link. So if he would have some clients, uh, he owe me a beer. He he lives in Ireland. Uh, yes, uh, and and basically I've met this guy uh, like uh, several months ago uh, while uh, participating in in creating uh, Amazon Europe community. So it is the first uh, centralized European community uh, for Amazon sellers. And I meet this guy there. So he okay. he's great. So I think he will help o- on this initial. So the, he has a very great expertise. So he can do more than just a launch, but uh, I think uh, he will do the launch as well uh, smoothly. So I maybe, would... maybe he will agree to also to be a guest in our webinar. Will yeah, maybe have... I think I think you can ask. So he will be interested because if you click the link. Yeah. Yes. So you will hear uh, see like coming soon. <laughs> okay. So I think he will be interested in some uh, promotion, but uh, uh, generally speaking, he's like very good, and I would recommend. Okay. So I also, I did recently a, a Amazon business launch in, mm-hmm. uh, in uh, household uh, chemistry uh, with, with, uh, with, with, uh, with Alex. Uh, so it, I was just a consultant, I was uh, for my friend. So I advised Alex and uh, they did great. Uh, I also controlled it step by step. Um, so yes, and uh, for logistics, yes, I would, uh, so basically, I know uh, if uh, uh, if uh, so, so I met uh, Wapi because I'm a client of Wapi. Uh, during during COVID, I need uh, some. Uh, I, I need to pivot uh, very fast and uh, to be agile, and uh, to change my FBA uh, model to FBM. So that's how I find Wapi, and uh, I also uh, like uh, while being an expert. Uh, still cooperating with WAPI on some questions like IT integration as well. So as far as I know, WAPI is uh, one of the uh, uh, most uh, up-to-date company towards uh, e-commerce logistics. So I would recommend it uh, for, 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 for e-commerce. And also, so basically... Thank you. <laughs> it's not an advertis- advertisement, it's my uh, honest uh, personal experience. 
uh, as well. So uh, you you see the link, uh, which is the last one. Uh, it, yeah. it is basically a link about uh, me myself, <laughs> because uh, so I, I when I was um, uh, proposed to participate in WAPI webinar, I decided what why not to uh, try to also be an agency, because I have a lot to tell. So you also can check the link. But I will be honest, it is a better launch. Uh, so I didn't ever provide it uh, 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 such services, but uh, we have a lot of um, capacity to do so. So it also will be thing, The main yeah. thing is that you have the knowledge. Yeah. All the, all the other things is just small, don't care about it. You have the knowledge and you can share it to everybody who is listening, who will view it afterwards. If you have questions, if you need support, if you need consultations, uh, don't hesitate, right, Nikolai? He will help you. He will show you the way and, and you will get the result that you want. I'll try my best, yeah. So uh, basically, I, I will talk about uh, it by uh, in hours. I can talk about uh, it in hours, uh, hours long, but uh, not, on, not on this webinar. Yes, so uh, what's next. next. What's next? You have been yeah, yeah, just a second. I'm trying to switch the video. I'm not so get used to Zoom, unfortunately. Maybe you will advise me how can I do it easily. How to stop sharing the screen? Yeah. Yeah, the, down there, there ah, is a stop. green button. The sh screen ah, demonstration okay. is stop it. Okay, so uh, the next one is uh, non Amazon marketplaces. So uh, the most important for, for them, uh, so, so for Amazon, uh, the main idea is that nowadays it's a lot of partners uh, and knowledges on the web can find. Uh, that's why it's a good uh, time. And it started just 2019. Uh, and I guess not from the beginning, like mid. Uh, and for non-Amazon marketplaces, uh, the main problem is uh, logistics uh, because Amazon provides its FBA program uh, which is not always good as well uh, to use it, uh, but for uh, other non Amazon. Why, for example, you, so basically, people yes, point? people has a lot of uh, points why why uh, not use FBA or why use FBA. Uh, but my personal experience, and I think it's vital for brand and uh, big enterprise companies, is that uh, you cannot rely on Amazon uh, just and only because it's a monopoly. As Elon Musk said recently on Twitter, you must have read it, that monopoly is wrong. So it's true and uh, monopoly is wrong and uh, it's always, it sometimes play against you. So they can just uh, block uh, your um, like stock on their warehouses for many, for multiply reasons and uh, you cannot sell. So you end up that you cannot sell your goods uh and 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 that's it so and it's a lot of uh, such such instabilities you can face due to amazon monopoly so in the end uh, you understand that you need have additionally to fba uh, your personal uh, fulfillment like fbm uh, just to mm -hmm. uh, be safe that because uh, all the business is done uh, for profits it's not a charity and we uh, have like mortgages, uh, we buy products on the profits, uh, like we live, uh, we live on the profits we get from our uh, retail businesses. Mm -hmm. So if your business stops for a month, that means that uh, you have a zero revenue per month, but you have to pay salaries and uh, you have to pay uh, to feed your family and pay mortgages, etc. So it's just for, for safety when, when you grow uh, and big enough, uh, uh, you have to do this. So that's what we also are doing currently. So we are currently uh, trying to build uh, FBM uh, supply chain, uh, not instead, but additional to uh, FBA. Uh, also one point is that FBA have some limitations on products. For example, mm -hmm. length. Uh, I don't know about all the limitations, but for example, length uh, is also limitations. You can sell goods uh, like 150 centimeters length uh, uh, mm -hmm. via, via warehouses. So for example, you cannot sell a sofa uh, via, via VA. Uh, if, you have, if you sell sofas or beds, 
uh, or long tables, for example, a furniture, you need to, to do it via FBM as well. Uh, so, and for nano Amazon channels, uh, the only way is to do your own fulfillment. Uh, and uh, so there are several ways to do it. Um, Why? I heard, I heard that you can use, you can sell at the other marketplaces and still use FB. No? Yes, but uh, so my experience is also it is uh, it is okay for small companies. So if, for example, you do I don't know, let us say uh, five hundred uh, thousand euro per year, uh, or maybe less, I think mm -hmm. less, uh, less yeah, something like this. So it's a small, very small company, uh, and uh, you would like to sell also on eBay. And uh, most likely on eBay, you will have like 50K uh, per year in this, uh, in, the, in this respect. Yes, if on, on Amazon, you do 5,000, mm -hmm. 500,000, uh, 500,000. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, for these volumes, it is okay uh, because um, you don't rely on it. So uh, 50K per year means um, less than 5K per month. Yes, and the profit from this, uh, 5k is I don't know like one 1k so it is not even a salary for one uh, person mm -hmm. uh, you have in your team so you don't rely on this income uh, and if something happens bad uh, also you uh, do not lose anything uh, but when you grow big uh, so the problem with FBA so they have this uh, program called MCF multi-channel fulfillment so what you do is they uh, you use Amazon warehouses for uh for for uh, multi-channel fulfillment but the point is that you do not control last mile so how it's working you push your order from marketplace uh, to amazon warehouse and then amazon warehouses uh, takes uh, some uh, uh, delivery service uh, to deliver your 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 parcel and they don't yeah. have their own trucks uh, they take dpd uh, like dhl etc and the, uh, the problem is that something wrong with the uh, ship, shipment, uh, the parcel shipment. Uh, you address uh, DHL, but they tell you that the customer is Amazon. We cannot do nothing for you. So Amazon ordered this, not you. Go to Amazon, and then you go to Amazon. So it's a, like a dead end. Uh, the customer uh, is always right. Dance for you? No, it's they just cannot uh, influence uh, that the uh, like. Uh, the, the rate of such uh, missed shipments uh, to be lower, they cannot do anything. So still it will be rather huge. And if you build a big story, so still would like to rely on other marketplaces and as well, other marketplaces have KPIs. So they- so it's, very uh, interesting. it's very interesting. It, at first glance, it looks like Amazon has a big influence on every courier service because every courier service wants to work with Amazon. Yeah. And at the same time, you're saying that when you have an exact problem with exact delivery, you don't have a ch any channel to contact and to find out what is the problem with this delivery. So basically you can, but it will take a very long time. But I mean that you cannot influence this supply chain to become better. So for example, you will have uh, like 10% of orders missing this way and you can't make it 1% because uh, Amazon will do nothing for you to make it better. So it, it, they tell just, that's, uh, that's how it yeah, works. It's interesting. It's, it's interesting. For example, in Vapi, you can discuss with us to change a courier service, uh, to change the fulfillment, to, uh, to talk to a courier service, to, to talk to, we can talk to German DHL uh, as much as we want. We can't influence. Yeah. German DHL to change anything, we can adapt the, to their system. But the, the last thing, we, first of all, we can do better to understand how DHL is working because DHL, for example, has a very, uh, very smooth business processes. But just most of the people don't understand how they're doing. There is the time how to influence the delivery, but it, it, it's very short. If the communication with Amazon is like weeks, of course you can't do anything. You have to react in one day. Yeah, that's why that's why we have always an account manager who is working on the side of WAPI with the client and who is fighting with with the 
with the client against the courier services and against the warehouses so yeah. that we get the best service. Yeah, so logistics is a tough business basically and supply chain is the heart uh, supply chain is the heart of every business so this one should be very smooth uh, for you to rely mm -hmm. on your income so building the e-commerce mm -hmm. businesses means that you rely on this income uh, and uh, you make you would like to make it stable so here I would also it's not an investment I will also uh, um, recommend uh, to address WAPI so there are a lot of ways to do this, this, this logistics, uh, but my personal experience is the only way to build a chain of local uh, warehouses because uh, you would like to be global, uh, to have this volume uh, enough for brand, uh, but you cannot do it yourself. Uh, so you will take, it will take ages for negotiating local warehouses. So you flight, negotiate, build process, integrate IT flight, negotiate, build process, integrate IT over and over again in each country. And then you control it, all, all these uh, markets. And then, so, and then you fly, integrate, uh, start working, and it appears that this is not the good supplier. Yes. And you have to do it again, and you have to change the supplier. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's, so for, it's for separate, it's separate, separate department in our company is doing this like on a daily day basis. Correct. So during this COVID, uh, I, I met uh, WAPI uh, exactly for this purpose. Uh, so you can address uh, WAPI as well. I, ha I hear I have a question um, for you. If yeah. uh, the question is, that is always asked me by the clients, so if we have local warehouses everywhere, what to do with our stock? Because if we have one, two, three SKUs, it's okay. We can divide it, put it on the local warehouses. But what to do if we have 100 SKUs, 500 SKUs? We can't divide all of them uh, among 10 warehouses. So you mean the uh, distribution between the, like, for example, within the European the stock, Union? The stock, the stock management, the stock management. So. Uh, how how many SKUs do you have single keeping unit? Ah, so like we have like 500. Uh, 500. But you, mean, you mean some uh, system to manage it or? You send all, you know, when, when you have one warehouses, one, one, one warehouse and there is 500 SKUs on this warehouse and you just uh, fulfill and send all over the world, it is one story. But if you have uh, one central warehouse, and then 10 more warehouses. And you have to uh, not fulfill the orders from the first one, but you have to prepare like the pallets and send to each warehouse. Yeah. So in the result, you have 11 warehouses that store your stock. And okay, I get it. How, 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 do you, how do you manage it? What do you, in the result, you're, you're doing this for six years. So basically, so it's a very really tough question. Uh, I think the uh, best model is uh, what Amazon provided. So if a person can do the same, it will be very good. I mean, the possibility to uh, move this stock uh, because the demand is always changing. So for example, in UK, you have lower speed uh, of sales that previous month, but in Germany, it doubles and you have to adjust uh, the stock quantities, but you already shipped from your central warehouse uh, all the stocks to these local warehouses. So uh, we don't have it, uh, for example, in our company, it is a big problem, uh, but uh, the way it can be solved is uh, possibility to move, uh, to, um, to be agile in movement between these warehouses, but uh, I haven't seen uh, such uh, solutions yet. Only just Amazon provides this pen you, as I said. Yeah, we're we're working on it, but still, it it is the costs. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter who will have this cost. And result, the client, the final client, will pay for this. Yeah, so I think this one is so it's a very good direction. But uh, so this one is, I think, hard to beat Amazon because, uh, as far as I know, they. So, so you don't pay it for it, first of all. Yeah. And they, I think they use just this super global uh, goods movement uh, mm -hmm. because so their goods flight with uh, like airplanes, uh, even, even in airplanes. I've noticed that, uh, for example, today I move a truck to Germany and uh, tomorrow uh, my goods are in the UK. 
already um, accepted. It means that it's super fast uh, distribution between. And I've read, I think they do it like via airplanes. But it's a very good uh, point to start thinking of uh, the, uh, the, uh, making an alternative to, mm -hmm. to that processes. OK, and so it is the main point about the basic uh, general stuff on e-commerce is mm -hmm. that nowadays uh, you have really good uh, choice of uh, people, of provide, service providers, partners uh, you can start. Because for brand, basically, the most important thing is building a brand and uh, like R&D uh, product. So you have to focus on product, not on the operations. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, your, your, your best option and what we did in our company as well, uh, we uh, took a partner and uh, outsource uh, things. But back then we uh, taught him first so to, to, to do these things now. You can find uh, experienced partner to do these things. And the next, uh, what I would like to tell you is basically networking and information, uh, which drove me mad in the, in the end of 2019. Um, so basically before, uh, when I Googled information, like starting from 2013 uh, up to 2018, mm -hmm. I found mostly like info businesses, like how to sell on Amazon like buy our program for $1,000 one and you will be uh, selling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and now like practical real information just uh, in free uh, access. Mm -hmm. And what happened uh, last uh, like last year, last I think last year. Uh, so I, uh, some guys, um, for what reason, I don't know why. Uh, they, in 2016, it is, was several separate guys. I think 2016 is like a beginning. Uh, I don't know what, for what reason, but like it's, mm -hmm. it's happened. And uh, they started to create, uh, starting, uh, started to create communities and uh, around Amazon. And uh, first they were not known. So I knew nothing and I didn't know, I don't know person who previously heard of this before. Yeah. But 2019, they uh, came like from shadow, and uh, I've 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 met a lot of people uh, and uh, visited uh, a lot of conferences uh, because it is now a community, and uh, uh, the the most interesting part is that uh, it is talented. So people understood that in e-commerce you can earn money, and uh, talented people came from in that in other industries for example from uh, to, to amazon marketing people came from like google advertisement uh, they the people who made uh, like uh, in solo in, in some company or like at an agency they managed google adwords they moved to amazon advertising because it's very similar uh, so they are really talented and there's a lot of people who are really talented and uh, uh, it is like a family uh, to, to have this, uh, to participate in such a community because you have opportunity uh, to share uh, your experience, uh, to answer somebody's questions, but at the mm -hmm. same time, uh, gain the practical experience from, from people uh, and you can do it live. So uh, when you do it live, it's uh, much more energy and, mm -hmm. and mind blowing. So basically I visited my first uh, global Amazon conference in 2019, September. It was a PPC conference. So let me show uh, my screen. Yes, so I would like you to meet the, those two guys, basically. Uh, I, I, uh, you, you asked about one thing that uh, I should uh, do different. Uh, I think the second one, uh, if such a community presented uh, like six, six years ago, life will be much more easier. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, so the first one guy is Augustus. Uh, uh, he is from Latvia. And uh, I guess... Uh, no, 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 he's from uh, Lithuania. 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 He, he, yeah, he's okay. our friend. He knows uh, our head of sales, Elvis. I didn't mm -hmm. meet yet Augustus, but he, he's from Lithuania and he has a, a good community also and he's doing his events and e-commerce. Yeah. yeah, so I recommend totally for all those who are thinking to go in e-commerce uh, to 
uh, check his page. So basically what he is doing, he knows nothing about retail or Amazon, but for some reason he gains people who know about Amazon and retail and made the community from that. So he is uh, called like Amazon guy. And uh, what is he doing is uh, on a regular basis, he's organizing offline and on online conferences. But moreover, he's trying to organize some communities uh, as well. Uh, so he has a Slack community. Also, it's like this, this one link. Uh, this one Slack community, what is interesting is that uh, they are trying to build first European uh, one based community ever. Uh, it's not uh, like very, very well developed yet, but uh, uh, you will gain a lot of knowledge. Uh, you mean the seller sessions? No, 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 it's Orange Click, Orange Click Club. So they also created a Slack based uh, club uh, mm -hmm. for sellers and they actively advertise it as well. So I didn't know before, but uh, also I think uh, uh, Alexander tries to create a community in WAPI. And I must uh, admit that the uh, level of uh, like guests and content is very interesting. So all people I meet uh, live, now I can see on the web also on WAPI. So yeah. yes, w WAPI also um, is one of the developing uh, centralized community. And I think uh, according to what uh, they, uh, the strategy they built, uh, soon they will uh, gain enough like critical mass to build a community or and provide uh, good content for, for for people who would like to know about e-commerce. E so it is like a general ge general uh, questions and this one also so wh wh why i know where now from augustus from basically augustus before organizing it is a funny story augustus before organizing um uh, community he mm -hmm. was a freelancer and uh, don't, do not do not know what to do basically so he did a lot of stuff that just to fit his family and uh, to be true he was a reviewer for our product on amazon germany <laughs> So uh, back then uh, for a review, you paid uh, for a reviewer. Uh, so you give him a free sample and he make a, a review. It was allowed back then. And uh, so uh, Augustus did it for our products. I didn't know Augustus, it was just a coincidence. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, so the second, the second guy is Danny McMillan. Uh, basically, I think, uh, so, so he, he, uh, he has, uh, Seller session podcast and uh, community. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think it's more web based community uh, as well. And I meet a lot of people. So, what I recommend is try to follow uh, these communities, and you will then meet a lot of people there uh, and uh, hear a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing also funny about Danny McMillan is that uh, in Amsterdam uh, during the conference, uh, it was the first conference I visited, so I drank beer just right beside the Danny McMillan. But I didn't want, I didn't know Danny McMillan personally, so I didn't know that it was Danny McMillan. And mm -hmm. it was a table uh, where uh, English uh, guys uh, drank beer. And uh, to be true, for Russian people to understand English accent is a little bit different because it's very round. Mm -hmm. And I tried to talk to them like 20 minutes and they decided, oh, English guys, I, I will switch the table. <laughs> okay. So basically, I know Danny McMillan. I was like face to face drinking beer to him. But unfortunately, I didn't know him at the time. So I didn't shook hands. And uh, so uh, we do not know each other personally. Still, we drink beer. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll have a possibility to do that in the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so all this stuff is uh, is very great, and this networking is is uh, it is just started, and now it's on the level you can really take from it and give something if if you have something. So, if you launching the online business, it is also the first thing you you go you you do. Um, okay. So I'll switch to another slide. I don't know how much time do we have. Yeah, we don't have any time, so this will be uh, your last slide. Okay, so I, I, I cut my short start, so I, I start to, to, to show you two slides. Okay. So it, it is the stuff uh, that I told uh, about the costs. So I would recommend a software named Celix. 
so it is uh, calculates all the cost uh, for Amazon. Uh, it calculates all the cost you see uh, you, you faced online. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you do is you do double process. So first you model your pricing, uh, you calculate your pricing knowing approximately what cost will be, and then you check it afterwards by tracking online uh, 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 mm -hmm. online costs and you do it per unit. Mm -hmm. So it is must have thing for a seller. And also it will be linked uh, next then about the fees you will find. So it will be in the, in the YouTube video. And the second slide is about advertisement. So our brand, um, so what, what means if you uh, keep all your operations apart, what is brand building in e-commerce nowadays? So truth is that uh, e-commerce uh, gave us a, uh, a non-branding world. So basically customers doesn't care what to buy it, like IKEA or some other brand. So they just buy what they see first. So what does mean, what means to be a brand? It means to be first in search, yes? Mm -hmm. And uh, Amazon basically has this uh, advertisement mm -hmm. uh, launched very recently, uh, like, uh, two, three years ago, they push it very heavily. And now what, what means to do um, advertisement, uh, to, to, to sell on Amazon, to make a brand is uh, push uh, your, uh, your products to be visible. And uh, some, uh, some uh, advertisement is uh, like PPC based. So uh, it is uh, like keywords and bidding, very similar to Google AdWords, but very close. So, and it's very manual work to do. So what I recommend, I, I did a ninth month, month project recently to automating this stuff in our company. Mm -hmm. Recently it took, uh, previously it took four hours per day uh, per each marketplace. Uh, so it's like seven marketplace, four hours per day managing PPC. And now we took like zone tools. So we tested uh, these ones, these four ones. It is the top, uh, top solutions on the market. Zone tools is the same as zone guru. No, 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 it's different. So okay. the Zone Tools is absolutely ultimate uh, software to automating your peep, your advertisement on Amazon. It's must have. So we tested it like nine, nine, nine months mm -hmm. and uh, we ended up with this one solutions uh, because it's the most uh, precise. So it does exactly what you want to do. The mm -hmm. others are very well developing as well. So all of them developing still because it is very young business, like two years old. All these companies are just like not, not more than two years old. Mm -hmm. uh, these ones, each of them interesting in their part, but they are not as powerful as Zontos towards accuracy, but, but interesting can be considered. For example, Perpetua has uh, like, uh, you can, you have also video search on Amazon and Perpetua does um, creating your video for you. So you don't have to video shoot yourself. It's a very interesting approach. I've seen it the uh, first time ever, and it mm -hmm. saves you lots of money and uh, time still allowing you to advertise. And I think as well, uh, these one, two resources I recommend to read people who uh, would like to understand what is advertisement. So Celix a software have their own blog and also agency Tinuity, it is American agency. Uh, it is not very good agency towards managing your ads, but they really do have a great content. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. Uh, so for uh, the main point about advertising that it costs you uh, 15, uh, you can see on my slide, it is our numbers. So I, I just uh, deleted the numbers, but you can see percentages. Yeah. So you can see organic sales is 56 percent, and so this, this slide, this slide is exact numbers from your business, right? Yes, I, I just deleted the uh, like Number. euro amount, but uh, percentage is accurate, and you can see like uh, I, I see profit margin 29 percent here. Yeah, it is profit. gross, gross one. It is gross one. <laughs> we are not uh, making magic, so we are the same as others, unfortunately. I, okay. I dream about uh, the, the same net profit, but I think this net profit can be done in service, not in retail, but when you provide service. That's why I'm trying to think of service <laughs> as well. So uh, the point is that uh, the sales, half, like half of sales are done for advertisement and you spend 
So you can see we spend 20%, but it's because we are very well optimized. So average guy can spend up to 30% on mm -hmm. that. And to be true, this organic number will not be 56% if you cut down your advertisement sales because your traffic also drives uh, organic indexation for your products. And uh, our, our like um, thought here is that you will end up 30% of your total sales if you cut down the advertisement. So mm -hmm. that's why, uh, so for brands, uh, I didn't have opportunity to tell you more, but you can read it on this blog. So I will post the link uh, on this YouTube video. Yeah, uh, It describes all the power brand has uh, nowadays to advertise and this is the only thing to build a brand now so just to show off to show your products in search okay yeah so i think that's it wonderful wonderful thank you so uh it was it was very interesting and very important uh, in the end, you have shared with us several links, exact links that people can view and check the tools, uh, check the communities, uh, network with the people from uh, from the ecom business, from the ecom community. Um, thank you very much for preparing this presentation. Uh, we don't have a lot of time left. So uh, as always, in the end of every webinar, I ask uh, three questions. We will uh, shorten them because of the timing. So I will ask you the first one. Uh, can you tell me and everybody who is interested in e-com business, one takeaway, one short sentence that people will remember because usually people remember only one and short things. Uh, okay. How to be successful on Amazon and in e-commerce business? Do not focus on operations, outsource operations, focus on your product. Outsource operations, focus on the products, cool. That's very cool, and, and it doesn't need any more explanation. It's very, very sharp and on the point. Okay, the second one is uh, what not to do. And never you know, like fail. I saw these fails. Everybody is usually doing on the start. Just don't do it. Uh, do not try to. So if you are manager or owner, or like a manager, yes. Do not ever try to understand everything yourself because uh, yes so just build a team but build team, costs, team and trust team costs money it costs money but still you have to do it so you have to trust people you 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 do not do it yourself do not do it yourself so if to be short do yeah. not do it yourself you just lose time and money okay wonderful and the third one is general like uh, how to be successful in life. So you came from Russia, you're uh, living in Europe now, you're a CEO, you're developing an e-com business, uh, share some sort of a secret, how to be successful in life in general. I think uh, like follow your dream because uh, yeah, f follow your dream. Uh, the only thing will, uh, will be uh, always with you is just, what you did previously so it's not the people basically it's not the status it's not like if you become a top manager you will not be always a top manager so it's not about the money it's about uh, your personal experience so if you have some goals uh, you just uh, do them uh, and so following the dream it's the only thing how it works but basically it's a lot of stuff beyond uh, how to do it but it's another story follow your dreams and dream big yes i will i will i will add like this true okay thank you nikolai very much it was very nice to talk to you today uh guys who are viewing us uh, if you need if you want to focus on your product and you're thinking of outsourcing all the processes of your supply chain in europe 
please contact us, contact Wapi, and we will help you with this. If you all need uh, consultancy and advice in building your trading company, please contact Nikolai. He will help you. Just send him an email. You will see his contacts uh, down there uh, near the video. Okay? Okay. Do you want to say anything else, Nikolai? So basically, it was a wonderful opportunity to go online. So it was my first public uh, event, to be true. Uh, so thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And see you on our next webinars every Thursday in 11 or 12 o'clock in Latvia. And we're worldwide companies. So just register, sign up, and we will send you an email and you will know when will be the next one. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.